Okay, today I'm going to show you a really good, really neat, high energy chemical reaction known as the thermite reaction. Now, it's very dangerous, and normally, if you watch the Mythbusters or something like that, what you'll see is that the uh, thermite can be used to do things like cut a car in half. Well, we're going to do a much gentler, but I think impressive, version of this that can be done, here I am in a house, and I don't have to worry about cutting a hole in my floor, for instance. So, it, it's really simple. The thermite reaction is iron oxide reacting with aluminum to form iron and aluminum oxide. Iron oxide is rust. So I have two rusty milling balls that a good friend of mine has given to me. Uh, and you can see there's pretty rusty. The rustier the better. And then you need good old-fashioned aluminum foil. I bet you never knew that aluminum foil could have such a neat use. Now what I do is I'm going to set one of these down and I'm going to wrap up this iron ball, rusty iron ball, with this aluminum foil. And then the kinetic energy of the two things hitting together can be used to spark, if you will, this chemical reaction. It's pretty, you, you can, it's uh, pretty violent. You can hear it, obviously, and you can see it. So, I'm going to turn off the lights and see how this works. Whoop, that wasn't so good. Woo! That was a good one. Pretty crazy. Notice I have safety glasses on. They're not just sunglasses, they actually are impact resistant and can be used for that. Now I'll show you one more thing. Not nearly as cool, but pretty cool nonetheless. You can do this with, with ball bearings, for instance. We'll take a, I gotta get a piece of scrap paper here. Luckily I got a piece of scrap paper here. And uh, we can do this, a similar type of thing here. But what's really interesting is when I hit these two things together, I actually burn a hole through the paper. There's that much energy that gets transferred. It's a little easier when you have help. It's, you can't, we don't have smell-o-vision here, but you can really smell the burning paper. I've done it before where I could get a little cinder to form. I often wonder if you could use this. See? Just burning a hole right through them. It's pretty neat. A little fun with iron balls. <laughs>